Hey everybody, Model Man Tom here with another installment in the Building a Computer series. Alright, so it's 61% done. I got a drive failure notice. And, uh... Basically, it said that port 2 drive had failed. If it was replugged in while the computer was off, the migration and the initialization would continue. Uh, but if I put a new drive in, I would have to start over from scratch and lose 30-something hours of work. Now, the motherboard lists the ports as 1 through 6. The way the BIOS and the OS look at ports is 0 through N. So this is not SATA 1, but port 0, port 1, port 2. This is the reported bad drive right here. So the first thing we're going to do is pop the cables. So on each of these, or at least we're going to tug at them. This one could be loose, it could not be loose. Power is on, and then port 3, which is labeled on the board here, is the middle top one. And that does indeed look to be as secure as any other. Definitely not loose. So, what we'll do is unplug it entirely. If I can actually get this angle here. Yeah. Oh. That is wedged in there pretty good. Well, unplugging this end should be good enough for a little while. So let us plug that in. Basically, there probably isn't any kind of residual charge left over, but there could be uh, capacitors in each drive. I haven't popped one apart in a long time, but uh, any kind of storage uh, savings in there would need a few sec seconds to dissipate. So, uh, let's power it back up. If the computer tells us that, uh, oh yeah, let's get in the BIOS here. F2. Alright, so here we are in the BIOS. And there we have the drive failure. Port 2, number 75. That's pretty good. So what I'll actually do is power down and make sure let me actually write this stuff down this is why you want a notepad around so you can take some notes so this is actually a good little bit of information to have if you're doing this port uh... drive serial number last two digits We got 97, 35, 75, 15, 51, and 80. So I should probably get rid of all this information. Uh. Or blur it out. 
So now with this information, what I can do is just look at each drive and confirm the positions with the port numbers to the SATA board numbers. And any time that there is a drive failure in the future, I can be rest assured that uh, I'm pulling out the correct disk. And that is utterly critical. So at this point, it could be the cable. What we'll do first is swap out the SATA cable because uh, rule of thumb when dealing with electronics, always check your cables first. After that, I'll pull the drive out and try it on a different machine. If it shows up as dead there, then it's definitely dead. If I can, uh, I probably shouldn't format it because that would change the information that's already been written and it would essentially be a new drive. So I'd put it back in the RAID and if it still doesn't work, then I would put in the hot swap drive, which I believe is port 5, but I really should have made it port 0 for ease of access because that bottom drive is definitely crowded. So let's uh, take a look inside the BIOS. So here we are inside the RAID instead, and just want to look at the numbers here a second. Oh, I... So apparently F2 does not get you into the BIOS. What was it? Delete or tab? I don't think it's that either, though. Uh, too bad I missed that one. That would have been good to see. Delete. Alright, so I have confirmed that uh, the drive is recognized and alive on a different computer. I've swapped out the cable. And we're just going to leave this out here while we try booting up again. Let's see how this goes. port 4 and it's not recognized at all in 2 unlikely very unlikely and port 1 is gone oh I see let's shut this down okay so I was talking about keeping track of serial numbers to port numbers this doesn't make sense at all but ports Obviously port 2 is gone, port 5 is unplugged, deliberately, but port 2 has disappeared, and uh, that's actually SATA 3, so the serial numbers have changed, uh, zero, port 1 and port 0 and port 4 are still the same, 97, 35, so drive 75 is missing, which is currently unplugged and is going to port. The port's got changed somehow. What was plugged into port 2 was then port 4. So I'm going to try plugging in the bad port 2 here. And we'll put port 5 back in as well. But this cable came off of port SATA 6, which is port 5. And this one came off of port 5. 
or number five, which is actually number four. This is where it got changed. So this used to be plugged in here. Now it's getting plugged into two. And if that shows up, then it was a port swap somehow issue on the motherboard, maybe? I don't know. That's a weird one. It's nothing I haven't seen before, but uh, that's why I was concerned about getting the serial numbers. So if this works, you'll see how much it pays off. The drive itself has gone from failed to rebuild, so I can probably pick up from 61%. And uh, let's plug the other two back in and see what we get. All right, so plug in pl uh, port two and five back in. We've got five again. We've got a full rebuild all going, but port five was the designated hot spare. So there's no way to get seven terabytes off of four two terabyte drives. You need port two in there. So why it's saying rebuild, and hopefully it's at 61% still, but it really shouldn't be. Because it's going to the hot spare. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So the only thing to do now is to kick into Windows, see if we can identify the dead port in the uh, hardware set up and uh, I'll show you how we go from there. This is how we troubleshoot. See you in the next one. So it doesn't matter what I had to say about it. This started rebuilding from 0% and it's registering port 2 unused. So what we're going to do next is dig into the device manager. So if there were a problem port it probably wouldn't show up as unused over there and then if there was a problem port it should probably show up right under here uh, this is the system devices tab on the device manager you can get this from administrative tools in the control panel and it's called device manager and what is that notice that just came up something wants to call the internet but it ain't gonna so the only other option I have, this is registering 